Okay, you guys, so my client chose this dark green and I chose this light green. And we're gonna do a cute little French set. Um, this is kind of inspired. I saw like this pretty blue set. So since she chose green, I decided to do it in green. So we're just beginning with the prep. You know, I like to start by pushing my cuticles back. This video is sped up. Um, and then now I am using my cuticle bit and I am just removing the dead skin off of her nail that is considered the cuticles. Um, so make sure that you are removing that because that helps with retention if you want your clients to have the longevity of their sets. And now I'm going in with my fine sanding band. I like to do like a U shape and then go across the nail to ensure that I'm removing all of the shine off of her nail plates. When I am doing this step, I am not applying pressure. Um, I'm just used to doing this. So if it looks like I'm applying pressure, I promise you guys that I'm not. Now I'm just spraying some alcohol to remove any excess debris off of her nails before I apply the tips. Also, this does um, help me with my retention as well. You guys can either skip this step or do it. Um, now I'm gonna go in with my McCart glue. I like to put a little dot in the middle and then just, you know, put my nail tips on, making sure that they are fitting sidewall to sidewall. I'm taking that same sanding band and I am just blending her nails to her natural nail, uh, excuse me, blending the tips to the natural nail, um, making sure everything is nice and flushed. Now I've clipped down to my client's desired length and now I am going to do my dehydrator and then once I'm done with that I'm going to come back with my primer and I'm going to prime two times. You do not have to prime two times that is just something that I like to do. I find that I get better results that way but everyone's different doesn't mean that my way is the right way everyone can do um, their steps how they want this is just what works for me Now I'm going in with my Mia Secret Clear and I am just doing a very thin layer of clear over my client's nails.
Now I'm gonna go in and apply my acrylic. This is Dynamic Supply Bad Enough. I absolutely adore this color. I know I say it on almost all of my videos and I use it almost on almost all of my videos, but I promise you, you just fall in love with this color and it complements like all of my clients, you know, different skin tone complexions and I just think it looks beautiful on everyone.
Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my 8080 file. Remember, this is a really coarse file, so it may not work for some, but I absolutely love it. This was this is what works for me and um if you would like to give it a try say go for it and if you find that it's a little bit too coarse for you you can always tone it down with 120 or 180 100 whatever you want you want um but this is the file that i just absolutely adore Now that I'm done um, filing my client's nails, I'm taking a cuticle bit and I am just making sure that those cuticles are sealed. Um, I pretty much seal the cuticles when I do my application, honestly, but I just have a habit of just going over it with my drill. So I'm just so used to doing that. Um, so the neater your application, the less work that you have to do in the end. Remember that, guys. Now I'm just going in with my buffer and buffering all of my client's nails. This is not sped up, but it looks like it is, but this is just a simple, fast step. Now that my client has washed her hands, I am going in with my lint-free wipe and alcohol just to remove any excess debris that may be left on her hands and nails and now i'm going to use my creations um 
white gel polish um make sure that you're applying a thin layer if not your polish will not cure properly so remember when i'm using like hot like lime greens and you know colors that may be a little bit transparent i like to go in with white first as the base so that way you can really see the true color So I'm just creating that French and this brush is from Amazon um, and I've gotten it like when I first started doing nails and I plucked it a little bit because I wanted it to be a little bit thinner. So if you guys have brushes that you feel like may have too many like bristles on it, just go ahead and plug it a little bit and kind of like customize it to your liking um, and just, you know, kind of play around with it. But I I have multiple different brushes, but this is just like a brush that's just my go-to. I know we all have like a go-to something when it comes to doing nails. So you just see me creating that smile line and making sure everything is nice and filled in. Once I am done doing this step, I like to always go back and clean up anything that I probably have messed up. So that's what I'm doing. So now I'm going in with my cleanup brush. I have a little bit of acetone on my brush and I am just cleaning up those areas, make sure everything looks nice and neat and even. Now I'm going to take that lime green color and I'm just going to apply it all over the nails. It doesn't matter if you get it like in areas that you don't want it. You can always just clean that up. Um, this just is easier to just get it all over the nails and then just erase. But you can do it, you know, a different way. You don't have to, you know, get all messy with it like this. And sorry about the background. I do have kids and it's hard to get them quiet sometimes, guys, when I'm trying to do my voiceovers. Um, but just make sure that you are applying um, the polish everywhere in all the spaces that you need go all the way down because you want this to just look like the only color that you've used
So now I'm going to take my cleanup brush and I'm just going to remove any of the extra gel polish that I don't want on my client's nails. Now I'm going to go in with my Koopa top coat and I'm going to top coat my client's nails because I am going to be using the 3D like, I'm going to do like the 3D look on her tips. So I'm going to use the gel and I want to go ahead and top coat it before I do that. So this is the um, McCart rhinestone like glue that I'm using. I just squeezed some of it out on my little palette right there, as you can see, and I'm just picking it up with my brush and just creating the designs that I'm wanting for my client. Once I have done that, I have 
had my client to cure her hands in the lamp and now I'm just going to take that dark green that she originally wanted and I am going to apply it right on top of the designs that I created with the rhinestone glue. Once I have done that, I have my client cure her nails again in the lamp. And I'm just taking my Koopa Top Coat and going directly on top of the designs. It is textured, so it just kind of sticks out. So I just drag my brush right on top of it. And once I am done with this, I have my clients cure her nails for one last time. And I just absolutely adore this color combo. I don't know if I'm being biased or what, but it's so pretty to me. And here's the final look. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.